Hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for watching and this is Reaver Titan build video 3 and this one is going to be all about the weapons. I'm going to show you through how I built the laser blasters, how I've magnetised them and attached them to the Titan itself and go through the missile pod and a couple of pieces I did there. A um, little bit about why I chose the weapons, look the missile launch you can see here, you have to have that, the apocalypse launcher. There is only one weapon that goes on the top of the Reaver. I've gone for the laser blasters really because they feel like the most versatile weapons and they look really cool. I'll probably talk about it a bit more in a later video. Now stage one I thought I'd build the apocalypse launcher first. It doesn't come in too many pieces. There's a massive block that forms the bulk of the launcher and this back vent was the first piece I decided to fit on. You can see by the amount of filing I'm doing there in the super speed it was cast so it just would not slot in. So first of all I filed around the outer of the kind of um, vent itself then took the same file and a craft knife and went on to the main block and just took away a little bit of that resin so that the back vent piece would slide in. Fairly simple. Missile pods. Now this comes in a set order so you've got to drop these missiles in a set order into that front rack. Fairly easy. I just test fitted them to make sure they were okay. You know cut down the outside with a hobby knife and then I've scored the little rack unit where they go just with a, a knife there so the super glue will adhere a little bit better. Now when I was testing the pieces, when I was initially cutting them out from the sprues in my first video, I managed to snap one of the missiles off the very end of the launcher. Now I could fix that, but I thought, you know, it'd be a bit of fun to have some of these missiles looking like they've already been fired. So I clippered the missile off this end piece, just because it was the broken off piece anyway. Took a fairly wide drill bit in my pin drill and just drilled a small indentation. I'm not going right through. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on this because I didn't want to slip and stab into my thumb because obviously I'm drilling it in there. I'm just putting a slight indent so it looks like that's where the missile will have fired out from as they're going. I then chose to take two other missiles at random from two of the other units just to make it look a little bit more visually interesting on the set rather than just you know the racks of missiles that everyone would do. Fairly simple conversion but fairly easy. Taking the end of a hobby knife again, smoothing it down before I drill that little indentation in there. And again I've chosen the drill bit that matches the sort of width of these rocket pods. So really that is it. Once you've done this stage it's then gluing the missiles in into the set order that it tells you kind of on the uh, build guide and then putting the bottom plug so not too many pieces for the uh, apocalypse launcher fairly quick and easy to do um yeah so that was it really i was quite pleasantly surprised so this was the first stage of my build obviously you've seen the titan finished because it is in a finished state now as i'm starting to put these videos together but actually i thought i'd start off with the weapons because it felt like a fairly easy way of settling myself in to building what is a very big and daunting model but this was actually quite pleasant uh, the pieces were cast really nicely so i just put a little bit of glue on didn't use any green stuff or anything like that into the missiles and just dropped them into the, their correct slots and they held really nicely now i did use a a mix of glues while I was putting this together. Picked up some Gorilla Glue, which is quite pricey, but it is really good super glue. And I started off by using this on the missiles and then realized that's probably a little bit of a waste. Right, now moving on to the laser blasters. Now I'm showing you in the order that I was doing it. So I didn't finish the launcher because the mounting point that goes into the Titan, I left the launcher stood up so the rockets could dry. And I'm gonna move back to the mounting point later. But again, the thing I would always recommend when you're building anything like this, any resin model, is test fit everything so you can see i've taken all the pieces out i've given them a good clean up and then test fitting them together just to see how they go see where they fit and again going back through and cleaning up any pieces that you notice the more you handle these pieces the more you're going to learn how they fit together where the problems are where you might want to correct now one place i did notice you've got these two little indentations on the back of the kind of main weapon blockers which you'd call it where the sort of uh, power tubes i don't know what they are but little cables that go in are meant to slot into these positions and they were full of sort of remnants of resin and bits of sprue and turning so i just sort of dug that out now in the end you could just cut the little mounting sockets off and you wouldn't need to do this part of it but i wasn't 100 percent sure you know how it was going to fit so really i just cleaned everything up now it comes in several parts you see there at the top of the double barrel bit i've already glued in the mounting uh, that holds the barrels apart from each other and I'm, i've already scored all the touch surfaces where the glue and things are going to go now when i test fitted them they weren't quite right in the socket so what i'm doing here is taking a little bit of green stuff and just putting a little blob of green stuff into the points where it wasn't quite contacting each side of the resin correctly so that what this will do when i force the barrels together it'll squeeze that green stuff into the holes where it wasn't quite touching correctly 
and it will then push it out so you can basically get a proper contact point and get it sitting smooth. If you're just using superglue, there were parts of this model where inside those sockets and, and on the model itself, they wouldn't have touched each other. So you wouldn't actually have any contact surface to drive. So you can see I've pushed it together quite firmly. You can see at the top of the double barrel there, the kind of oddly shaped thing that keeps the barrels apart. Same process with the individual barrel. And there's a nice little socket where it slots in and you can see how those barrels are now held apart at the sort of... Uh, open barrel end and again using quite a bit of force to push these together and that will push the green stuff into all the spare um, air gaps that are in the model same process when you're taking the two parts of the back of the weapon together so you can see there put a little bit of green stuff into that socket because it wasn't right but actually all the flat surfaces were touching really nicely so i didn't put any green stuff there and just use super glue and again plenty of force to push it together now the nice shroud that wraps around, again contacts at the top and the bottom, so scored all over, and just use super glue at this point because I couldn't find any point where it didn't contact properly, so you know you're gonna get a good bond. Now I made a mistake. Those little cables and pipes I should have put on before putting the shroud on, I didn't, but I did manage to squeeze them into place with a set of tweezers and made sure I didn't make the same mistake on the next one. Now you've got these two little vents that link the uh, laser blasters to the Reaver Titan. You don't have to build it with those on. So I imagine some of the other Titans that use this weapon, which is the Warbringer, don't use the cables that come out of there, but stick that on. Now the cable I'm sticking on here, I have already had this in boiling water because initially it was in too much of a straight line and the curve meant it wouldn't fit. Now foolishly, I didn't film myself fitting uh, the magnets to this but I've just drilled a hole in the individual pin and then a hole just in front of the pin and put two very small five mil by two mil magnets in the reason to see me shaking it around I tried it with one magnet to start with shook it and it fell off quite easily put the two magnets in and actually as you saw there until I turned it upside down it was absolutely fine so I didn't feel the need to go any more than two magnets it felt okay now I'm not going to go through how I've built the torso yet that'll be a separate video but the kind of mounting sockets that you put the weapons into I wanted to make sure I really pinned the weapon mounts in place so I drilled some holes through there as you've just seen where I've put the, the drill bit through and I've really secured it to the torso you'll see how later now what I'm doing now is testing the kind of angles and positions that I want the weapons to be in and how's it going to look cool I'm holding it in place and dropping a, a pin drill just into the top and scoring the top of that socket so that I can then drill a proper hole in it in a second into the mounting. Now I've drilled that proper hole, again, just using a, a electric drill. You'll see more of that in the other videos. I've put some green stuff into the hole and some green stuff around the socket. And I'm literally taking a screw and I'm screwing in that mounting that goes from the gun up into the uh, body of the Titan. So you can see the screw that's in there and that is now rock solidly screwed in. Again, the reason I drilled that hole was so that when you put the screw in, it didn't split the resin. So I've drilled the hole, use a screw that's slightly larger, and that is now set solid as a rock. Now, I could have just attached the weapons. I've magnetised them, which isn't something I do very often because I might actually want to buy some alternate weapons for this model. Your final stage of putting these laser blasters together is getting these little cables to go into the mounting sockets that I'm trying to get a decent shot there to show you. So you have to go from the back of the gun across there, but these cables are just quite simply too big and not bent in the right position as you can see there if you try and do it just as they come you will not get them to go together now i did remove a section of it with a pair of clippers but then this is where the boiling water comes in really handy now if you soak in boiling water for a minute or so these resin pieces they become really really flexible and pliant just make sure you're taking them out of the water with a pair of tweezers or something and you can see there i just test fitted bent them to shape put them in and kept messing around until they were perfect glued them in with a bit of uh, green stuff again and you can see how now they fit really nicely and go from the gun straight into the uh, sort of armature that uh, it goes into there with a little bit of movement so if the gun gets knocked they're not going to break away. So now I've got two thoroughly magnetised weapons that will just drop in and out as I feel like and I can replace them. I might never buy optional weapons but it's good to have the choice there for the future if I want to. And then the top missile launcher, that mounting has just been glued onto the bottom there and the launcher goes together well. So a little bit of drilling, a little bit of magnetisation, um, a nice little weapon fit that we've got there and I'm really happy with how they've gone together. Again, you can see they're quite difficult to get off because the magnets are quite strong, so I'm not overly worried that anything's gonna happen to them uh, in the game or anything, and again, I'm always quite careful, and they are lovely big 
weapons and there's the latest model I'm working on a Tyranid Prime just to show you the kind of size that these weapons are so I hope that made sense that little quick ramble about how I've put my uh, thing together I'm going to do the torso coming up soon there'll be more information about drilling and those kind of pieces so if you liked that like comment subscribe and I'll see you on another video